An excellent illustration of the three methods of heat transfer is found in the making of steam in a boiler. Chemical energy in the form of coal or oil is transformed into heat energy through combustion. The heat energy passes to the boiler tubes by radiation and convection, through the tube walls by conduction. The water transmits the heat by convection. But without proper insulation, a great deal of heat loss results from radiation and convection to the boiler wall, conduction through the wall, and radiation and convection outside the boiler wall. But with the application of scientifically designed insulating materials, the heat loss may be reduced to a minimum. The actual reduction in heat loss and its resultant saving, depending entirely upon the type and thickness of the materials used and the method of application. The efficiency of an insulating material depends primarily upon its physical structure because even within the material itself, all three methods of heat transfer may occur. The solid portions of a structure transmit heat by conduction. Consequently, the amount of solid material must be kept to a minimum. For that reason, pore spaces are introduced. But pore spaces transmit heat by both radiation and convection, so they must be kept as small as possible. Decreasing the size of the pore spaces automatically increases the number of surfaces, controlling both radiation and convection by interposing the maximum number of surfaces and surface resistances in the path of heat flow. Dolomite, which has a conductivity about the same as concrete, becomes 30 times more effective as an insulating material when converted into magnesia. For then the pore spaces occupy 90% of the total volume. 